With five garage door-sized windows open in his pizza place, Nick Crandall figured he was good to open for business during the current coronavirus restrictions. You can fly a kite in here, you know what I mean? When Crandall installed these roll-up windows five years ago, he'd never heard of coronavirus. Now he feels perfectly positioned for outdoor dining during the pandemic. With what's going on, I got lucky and I got um, two doors, good crosswind going on. But it has turned out to be more of a train wreck at Railroad Pub and Pizza. Crandall says he was told by Labor and Industries to shut down his version of outdoor dining because people were still technically eating indoors. They're kind of forcing you to just to, to not be legal. They're just like, screw it, I'm going to open up. They're not working with me. They're not giving me even two tables to work with, you know. You can see how much actual airflow there is in here with these windows open. Seems to be a lot more than we would see in those tent structures that are everywhere. Well, so, you know, I have enough flow of air coming through and what else? What else do you want, you know? We wanted to ask LNI officials about the apparent contradiction. Instead, they referred us to the governor's outdoor seating requirements, which do restrict dining to sidewalks, patios, courtyards, or other similar outdoor areas. Perfect. I'll have that ready in about 15 minutes. For now, it's back to takeout only, while the folks at Railroad Pizza wait for the all clear to get back to business. It just makes another, you know, small business just say, screw it, I can't do it anymore. In Burlington, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. And late today, an LNI spokesman told King 5 the agency is working with the Department of Health to review restaurant requirements and looking at different arrangements that may allow for safer, well-ventilated dining. This particular situation is likely one of those that they say they're going to look at as part of that review. Also, a Kent restaurant is now being forced to close after opening for indoor dining. Seattle and King County Public Health is forcing Stimpy's Sports Bar and Grill to temporarily close.